How have I not talked about the bazooka before? The classic rocket launcher in pretty much every game that's ever featured a rocket launcher. One of the best weapons in Save the World. One of the classic best weapons in Save the World because nowadays it is a bit low on the rocket launcher tier list. You know, the Santa's Little Helper, the Metal Marauder, the Deatomizer, I can go on and on, have come out that have sort of topped this weapon, but it's easy to forget that this weapon is still very, very powerful in today's day and age. You can totally use this in the 144 player missions and it'll do absolutely fine. The bazooka is is an absolute powerhouse and something that I think is worth a little bit more attention because I used to have four of these things back in the day. You might remember if you were a subscriber long, long ago, I used to have a fire, water, nature, and energy variant of this bazooka and it was awesome. They were very, very powerful and they did the trick. I used to run it without coconuts because they hadn't come to the game yet and even Blast in the Past wasn't a thing. I used to run my main primary weapon and then like a sniper for a long range and a, a bazooka in the middle because you know the Baron couldn't give you the movement speed. It was a simpler time back then and the bazooka was used as a secondary. That's why you see a lot of my gameplay here. I'm actually using the Blaster Tron Mini to clean up a lot of individual targets because that's how you should be using these weapons. Launchers are very expensive. As of recording this gameplay, they take three rockets per shot, which I think is abhorrent and something they might change in the future. It's extremely expensive to operate these weapons, and it is mostly important to use them for group damage. Encampments, large crowds of enemies, or, you know, like storm chests or something, it is the best way to utilize a bazooka or weapons like it. So that's why I save it for those targets specifically and you can see against the smasher here that it's single target damage does kind of suffer I, I do have to end up using my main primary because I saw how many shots it was taking and it's just not practical to use it against one single target enemy like that an AR or an SMG would be much better suited for that job and then of course as I said crowd clearing is where it definitely shines oh and before I get too far into this video I do want to mention that the trash cannon is identical to the bazooka in every single way it's just that it's cheaper to craft and overall more ammo efficient so if you don't want to spend as much on the bazooka the trash cannon cannon is, as I said, the exact same weapon. It's just going to cost less. So for the best perks for the bazooka, it's pretty cut and dry. I hate running crit builds on single fire weapons. I do not agree with it. I don't think you should do it, and I stand by that. If you are shooting into a crowd of zombies, each individual target has its own chance to crit, so if you shoot into a crowd of 30 zombies on average, well, I mean, if you had a 38% crit chance in this example here, if you shot into a crowd of 100 enemies, 38 of them would crit. You know, if you shot at 30 enemies, then like 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever would crit. It's not really the majority of your shots, and so most of your, your shots will be doing significantly less than normal. Normal, so I think double damage is the best way to go for a rocket launcher. I just don't see another way to do it. Reload is extremely comfortable. You don't need to do it, but I find it to be a much cleaner experience, much easier to get those shots off. And if you have Affliction, you're not actually going to need another damage perk. As I record this, Affliction is doing significantly more than it used to. I agree with that. I think they're going to continue with that going forward. However, it is currently ticking forever. So you can see this fatty just dies over a long, long period of time, way longer than six seconds, mind you. And that might be patched in the future so i wouldn't rely on that as a main strategy however i do think affliction is going to be doing more damage going forward so i think if you can get an affliction schematic for the bazooka that is the way to go that might be the only six perk sold and snared might be an option i'm not certain on that but you know affliction is something that i definitely recommend and that's why i recommend going reload instead of that second damage obviously you can go crit and crit damage it is technically the higher dps even though this isn't a damage per second weapon you're not spamming these shots necessarily you want to save it for those larger crowds as i mentioned a crit rating crit damage is certainly something you could do or you could do double crit damage and then run totally rocking out that is its own thing i do not recommend that this is not a primary weapon but if you can afford it and you want to go crazy then yeah reload double crit damage with totally rocking out is a an insane way to go you will almost instantly trigger that totally rocking out ability if you're using battle beat in your lead and i i didn't try that for today's gameplay but if you want to give that a go you go and have some fun damage afflicted is is kind of tricky down here you want this to match your six perk so if you have slowed and snared then you want damage to slow and snared but an all-around decent build could be damage to miss monsters and bosses uh damage to afflicted does nothing on your first shot and then it does 45 percent more on your second and then you know basically a 90 percent overall buff on your third shot it is a good way to go i think it's the best all-around way to go however damage to those individual miss monsters because they are going to be resisting most of your damage like even fatties and normal zombies they're all dead by the first shot and almost always dead by the second shot the fatties might last a little bit longer the riot huskies are going to last a bit longer but the 
the mist monsters are, are kind of your harder targets there. And of course, damage to stun staggered is uh, not a bad way to go for a rocket launcher either, because the impact and knockback on the bazooka is insane. In fact, a couple of scenarios when I was recording, I, I just ended up sending mist monsters off the map entirely. So those enemies do count as staggered. So you might be able to get a nice little 60% extra damage on those enemies. However, I feel like the 45% damage to afflicted is a little bit more intuitive because you're guaranteed to afflict them. You're not guaranteed to stagger them. So you really do have some options down here. Pretty much every single fifth perk is worth going for. I think 60% might be the best all around because you're pretty much staggering everything, but damage to afflicted is, is something I personally trust more. So I'm going to be keeping in mind that way. As I said, I used to have one for every single element. If that's not something you want to do, then energy is going to be better if you're entwined and you're dealing with a lot of elemental enemies like I was. However, physical is certainly an okay way to go. In fact, to this day, and I do use the Santa's little helper in very high level missions, I still have my inspect with physical. If I can find the schematic here, you can see I actually used to have an energy one. I ended up recycling it. I put it in the book or something. I, I just didn't need a second one because physical just works. I mean, this weapon isn't the bazooka. It does a lot more damage than the bazooka, but the Santa's little helper, it hits so freaking hard that you don't even really need to care about that, that damage reduction from elemental zombies. However, the bazooka doesn't quite hit as hard, almost half as much damage. So if you're in Plankerton or Stonewood, and this is one of the first launchers you've ever gotten, and this is how you found the video, then physical is certainly going to be the way you want to go for that, and it will be more effective in your zones. And that also applies to early candy before you start to see lots of elemental enemies. So yeah, the bazooka. Fantastic weapon. I mean, it's in the core llamas. You can research this weapon, so you can get it from your regular upgrade llamas. You know, use code MR to check out if that's what you're doing. Or you can go to the collection book down to the ranged weapons in the explosive weapons section, and you can research your own schematic right here. That is a bit expensive, but if I haven't proven that it's worth it today, then I don't know what else I've done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you like this weapon? Did you not like this weapon? Tell me your stories. I'm sure plenty of you guys use this in the early games, and I, I want to hear those stories. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it. If you disliked it, subscribe if you do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, have a nice day. <laughs>